everyone, Michael here with a uh, question and answer session. The first question was, do you read any Nancy Drew books? And, um, well, yes, I read a lot of books. Let me show you. Uh, do... Let me see. Here we go. Here we go. Here's uh, here's one of my bookshelves. I've got an awful lot of books here on the bookshelf here. Yay. I got another uh, bookshelf over here. Uh, so basically, yes, I read a lot. So yes, I've read some of the uh, Nancy Drew books. My favorite book of the uh, Nancy Drew series that I've read is uh, this one, Missing Nancy Drew. It's my favorite book because Nancy's not in it. <laughs> I know that sounds kind of mean, but I like it because since Nancy's not there, it's Bess and George. They're the main characters of the book. And I like Bess and George, so it's basically just a book about Bess and George solving a mystery, trying to find where Nancy disappeared to. That's kind of cool. My favorite animal, huh? Well, actually, I've got some video of uh, various different animals. I was hoping to make, like, one of those Discovery Channel, National Geographic, informational movies about animals, something like this. Giraffes are the tallest animal in the world at a height of 18 to 19 feet tall. They were born 6 feet tall. And if you look at the giraffe in the front, you can see it stick out its tongue right about now. Yep, giraffe tongues are all black. They're 18 inches long, and as you can see, they're very flexible. The neck is surprisingly flexible, too. Giraffes can bend their necks backwards so they can actually rest their heads on their backs when they go to sleep. This is a giraffe camouflaging itself. Giraffes stand still and have spots which help disguise themselves so people actually can't notice the giraffes are there. So because I was trying to make those movies, I actually have footage of my favorite animal, which is the gorilla. Look at this guy, now he's on. He's by the uh, get door. Oh, look at this. Good Here's my dog, Snickers. He likes to spend uh, most of his time in here on the bed, sleeping. That's basically what he does all day long. Hey, Snick, say hi to the camera. So that's Snickers. Yay, he's a, he's a really big dog. Yeah, he's a real decent rich back. He's a big dog. What kind of music do I listen to? This is going to sound kind of weird, but I don't really listen to music all that often. Um, I tried my grandma's old car, see, so I have all of her old uh, various tapes. So I know all the greatest songs from the 1930s and 40s. Those are the songs that I really know, like the Shirley Temple songs. We should be together, like the walls and ceiling. Like a door and doorknob. Like the hat on your knob. Like butler gold with doorbell. Keyhole with key. I think we'll get by if you'll stick with me. I know other music like Disney songs or whatever. Look at this stuff, isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? Wouldn't you think I'm the girl? I mean, guy, guy, definitely not girl. But overall, I'd say that I'm not really pep to the jive when it comes to the uh, music scene nowadays. Somebody wanted to see a picture I drew, so uh, here's my little drawing notebook. Let me flip to the back here. Do, do, do. Most of that I draw pictures of uh, people. I tried drawing a picture of my dog Snickers, but it didn't turn out very good. I mean, it looks kind of like him, but it doesn't look very good. I didn't like it. There's a picture of a dog. It turned out kind of better than Snickers. Uh, this is the uh, flower girl from uh, Grandpa and Oz. I forget her name. 
do, do, do. Here are some flowers. I was trying to draw flowers. Then I tried to do some clothes modeling. I tried this uh, 4th of July outfit. And then I also drew this outfit, do, 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 which is very fancy looking. It's not that I'm very good at drawing. It's just that I taught myself how to draw by copying pictures other people drew. Like this picture. It, sure, it looks uh, kind of fancy and impressive. But basically the way I did it was by uh, taking the picture from uh, this comic strip. And then I just drew her over and over again, line by line by line by line, until I figured out how to draw a picture that looks something like the original drawing. So I guess I'm kind of a cheater when it comes to drawing pictures. Oh well. I think that's it, everyone. I had lots of more questions, but I think I'll just answer them later. Bye, everybody!